I got this absolute bundle of joy <laughs> thrown into my life, which I'm just so grateful for. Your first SAT yeah. in the books. Yeah. Good job, Ryan. I'm excited to see what I got. Hey guys, welcome to today's vlog. Mike and Jill here. This is, we're starting our vlog late tonight. We normally don't start our vlogs at 9.30 at night, but we are tonight. We are headed home from dinner. We just had dinner with friends of ours, and um, we're heading home to see Ryan. He is getting ready to take his SATs tomorrow. It's which a big is, day, Jill. It is a huge day. I can't believe my baby is taking his <laughs> SATs. That is insane which to me. It stands for Scholastic Aptitude Test. It sure does. Which if, a, yeah. Of the right, and it's basically the test that you take it's, it's a standardized test, so everybody takes it to get a specific score to determine basically like if you're going to college, like college, certain colleges look for a certain score and certain scholarships look, look for a certain score. And, you know, I just think back, like if, the fact that Ryan's taking it is insane to me. Crazy. I remember when Brennan was taking his SATs. And then Katie. And then Katie. Actually, when Brennan Not was Ryan. taking his SATs, it was COVID and they were canceled one after another. He kept preparing and preparing and preparing and they would get canceled and canceled and canceled. So sometimes people take their SATs, you know, four and five times to try to get a better score and Ryan, Brendan can only take his once. He was like a one and done because everything was canceled and they took like the last one he could take before college applications were due. Do you remember that? Yeah, I do, yeah. And then Katie, I think she might have taken it two or three times maybe. Yeah. Yeah, but still not as many. Yeah, she can take it as many times as she want, which takes a lot of pressure off kids I think it's I think that's a good thing you know right. it's like you can learn it and figure out how to, how to get a better score and all that right. stuff so he's been preparing on Wednesdays with his tutor for golly the last month and a half yeah. right yeah We'll, have talk, we'll let him talk about that as well because he has sort of, it's, it'll be interesting to hear what he has to say. We've talked about it with him a little bit. But we don't want to put too much pressure on him. So, you know, just, hey, how's it going? It's so, all good. Yeah, it's all good. We don't like to put pressure on people, but I will say, you know, just so you know, and I don't say this to Ryan or any of the kids ever, but, you know, your score on the SAT determines a lot. It determines it can determine what type of scholarship you might be able to receive like if you receive any money to go to college it also determines like certain like I said before certain colleges have certain SAT standards that you have to get to be accepted into that college and to me any college is great but if he wants to go to FSU for example with Brendan and Katie he has to have a pretty high um, SAT score so um, so the stakes are kind of high, <laughs> um, but he could take it again. The only thing is like kids like, yeah, you can take it again and again, but what a pain in the butt, you know what I mean? It'd be great to take it the first time and be like, okay, I got a great score, I'm done. Um, because it does cost money and it takes a whole Saturday and it takes, you know, the studying and the pre preparation and all it? that stuff. Is it 20 bucks, 25 bucks? No, it's much more than that. Oh, I think it is? I think it's like $75. And, Seriously? Yeah, and the only reason that we don't know is because tomorrow it's at the school and the school offers the first one to juniors um, at no cost. It's like wow. part of going to the school. Yeah. So that's why we don't know what the cost is for wow. tomorrow. But after that, like there's another one in May, there's another one in August, there's another one in October. So he potentially could take all this through his senior year. And I mean, you could take it like eight times. Wow. But who wants to do that? So anyway, <laughs> when we get home, we'll talk to you. You can Ryan. take your highest score, right? Like if, yeah. you, if you screw up on the, like the fourth time, you can take your next highest score. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, that's yes. pretty cool that's too. My understanding. Yeah. So that takes so the pressure nice. off the kids, which I think is. I think so too. Huge. I think so. But I'll be anxious to talk to Ryan about how he feels he's prepared and um, what his thoughts are on the SAT. So I am um, nerve sighted. If you guys remember that word, <laughs> nerve sighted, that's an Annie and Katie word. I'm nerve sighted for him. He's probably nerve sighted as well. Probably more nerve than sighted. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So anyway, we'll see you in just a second. It's going to be great. We're home. Here's Ryan. Hi, buddy. What's up? What you doing? I'm on the phone with Maddie looking at these classes. Oh, for next year. For next year. What are you thinking? Does senior year even matter for colleges if you apply for them after your junior year? If you apply to college after your junior year? That's what you do, right? Wait, hold on. There we go. Or at least you apply during your senior year. You apply during your senior year. So you apply, yeah, all applications have to be in by November. And yes, they want to see what classes you're taking next semester and then they then you have to report your end of senior year grades 
Like, so your application or your acceptance into a college is um, contingent on the grades that you get the second semester senior year. Oh. So, yes, it, they're pretty important. So I still have to take stuff? Yeah, you still have to take classes. Right, Maddie? <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> oh, okay, yes. Yes, that's the case. They want to know that you're still serious, that you haven't just given up. You know what I mean? So we're trying to dissect these electives and know which one will be the easiest A's. So <laughs> to we get? Can just focus on some, like, AP classes. Well, you know what you should do? Why didn't you call Campbell and be like, hey, how, tell me the skinny on this teacher, this teacher, and this True. teacher? Because you know what I mean? Not only the class, it's the teacher, as you know, right? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so you should talk to a couple people who were who went through it last year. Mm -hmm. It's always good to do your research on anything that you're doing. I'm mad that my freshman year was online. Yeah. Because you boy did not try. Like, there were some, I had some, like, I think my freshman year grades really kind of messed me up. Do you remember Katie saying that to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but... But this is the good news. If your grades continuously improved, colleges look at that and they say, wow, he's getting better and better, right? Like your math grade, for example, is continuously improving. Your, so, mm -hmm. and, and you can you know, talk about that in your essay as well. But yeah, they see improvement. Right. If they see decline, then they're like, okay, if he's declining, he's going to keep declining. If right. he's improving, he'll probably keep improving. Right. I missed the college fair today. We were supposed to go. Oh. Um, and... I like, like I just didn't hear the announcement or something. Oh, sugar! And I was in gym and we left so people could come in for the college fair. Oh. I, I didn't know that I was supposed to go in, so I didn't get to go in. Okay. Well, we can go visit some. It's okay. Okay. We should do that soon. Maddie, have you visited any colleges lately or at yet? I mean. Yeah, I visited the one college I want to go to, UCF. Oh, good. Did you like it? I love. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. We went to a football game there this fall. It was awesome. Yeah. All right. Ryan, yeah, we can go visit there. It's near Disney. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Okay, first of all, that clock is not right. It is uh, not 10 of 2. What the heck? Oh, I didn't put it up. <laughs> I know. I need to put a battery in it or something. Okay, it's time almost to go to bed, but I wanted to have a little chat with Ryan, talk a little bit about. SATs and what you have done to prepare for SATs. Like, what have you, like, are you, do, A, do you feel prepared? And B, what have you done? Uh, I feel pretty prepared. Uh, I've just done math. Uh, well, I did the PSAT and then I got some review on that and I've been on Khan Academy uh, doing stuff and I, I got this absolute bundle of joy <laughs> thrown into my life, which I'm just so grateful for. It actually has helped a lot, but also, um, it sinks and I hate it. So uh, <laughs> it's very thick. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. What page are you on? Twelve. Four hundred. Oh really? Well, yeah, but I didn't go in chronological order. Oh okay. Yeah, you know I mean, I'm just funny. skip to the practice test. Okay. Um, and so that's been that's been good. Uh, but other than that, I don't know. There's I don't know. It's just a lot of stuff to remember. Okay, so what do you have to bring with you? What do you have to be prepared with tomorrow? Calculator. I forgot one for the PSAT, so <laughs> it's charging over there. I Fantastic. And then a pencil, I guess? I don't know. Two number two pencils. Is that really the criteria? Yeah, they said bring two number two pencils, whatever your calculator is. I think they all, we, we can read the email, but we got the phone call today and it was a snack and water. Okay. I can do that. And I think that's it. I can look, check the email. Yeah. Okay, good. What time does it start? Is it all day, first of all? Yeah, I think we have 6th and 7th period after that. But so, but it's first thing when you get there in the morning? Correct. Okay, and do you know where to go? Yeah, I'm going to the gym. Oh, you're taking it in the gym? Is that where, like, your your last name is, like, Donnelly? Yeah. Go to the gym. It's like A through H, go to the gym or something. Well, I think, look at it this way. Look at it as an opportunity to prove what you know. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So go in with confidence and be like, you know what? I've done all this preparation. I am prepared. I know what to expect. I know what to do. And then when you get your score back, if, if there's things you approve on, then you improve on those. Mm -hmm. You know? I think it's all good. Yeah. I'm excited for you. Thank you. And I can't believe that my youngest baby's taking the SATs. You're weird, right? <laughs> it's totally weird. It, you just don't seem old enough, Ryan. All right, so I'll make sure you're up at 6. 
right? Mm -hmm. Get you all good and going, and then we'll listen or we'll uh, we'll film you when you get back from the test tomorrow and see how it goes. All right, what you thought about it? All right. Okay. All right. Good luck, baby. I love you. Thank you. I'm pulling for you. I'm very proud of you already. I know you're gonna do great. Right. Um, welcome back to Stanley's. I'm Ryan, and uh, I'm taking the SAT today. SAT is something I have not been looking forward to for a long time, but I'm looking forward to getting it over with. So, you know, there's that. Today is the free test. The school gives you one test for free. Um, so that is going to be the entirety of the school day today. Um, and then if you want to take it again, which you can, uh, you have to pay for it. So I'm looking to just go one and done here, hopefully. Um, I want to take it again. I've done all the studying I needed to do. Uh, I'm still, to be honest with you, not fully confident that I'm going to do crazy well. Um, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, breakfast right now. I'm about to leave. It's raining. I have a jacket. And um, I got woken up by my cat this morning, Edward. So that was kind of annoying. Uh, I got up like really, really early. But it's whatever, we're here now, and I'm gonna go try my best. Yeah. Anyway, I'll see you. Well, looky, 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 who just walked in the door? Ryan Donnelly. What's your favorite Donnelly. Your favorite Donnelly. Tell me, so what'd you, tell me everything. How'd it go? So, um, had the SAT. Uh huh. Uh, I was in the gym. Mm -hmm. And like we walked in, went to your little alphabet thing. You can choose where you sat. Oh, that's you nice. Can choose, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my brain's so fried. Oh, you. all oh, right. Gosh. Do you do you want me to wait and film later? No, no, no. no, no. Okay. I thought I was gonna sit next to like that my alphabetical like. Mm -hmm. Oh right, be in an alphabetical order. DOs were, but, exactly. Um, you can sit where you want. So like me, Ethan, uh, Scott, uh, Lucas, and Charlie. All sat in like the same area. Okay. It was good. So I felt I didn't completely finish the first section, but I was on like the last, um, what's it called? Like reading. Mm -hmm. And then the grammar one was whatever. I started off slow and I was like, you can't second guess, guess yourself. Yeah. So yeah. I'm going to give you 25 minutes. Yeah. And it's a lot of questions. So mm -hmm. you got to kind of just go down the yeah. first instinct. Um, the first... The no calculator math uh, section uh, was good. I like, right as I got to the math, I just felt way more comfortable because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had been studying it. Mm -hmm. um, and, but then the calculator math part was even better. Like, I was lucky in my. Really? Yeah. Okay. I felt, I felt really good so, uh, overall, uh, I feel like I did better than the PSAT. Which okay. Was definitely good. Well, you didn't have a calculator for that. Right. Okay. And then. Um, but yeah, I, I'm I'm excited to see what I got. And when will you find out? I don't know. Okay, I don't know the exact, but my in my head somewhere it's like three weeks. I think it's like three weeks. Maybe, yeah. Okay, we'll look it up because they do have they announce like they say like if you took it on this day, you'll get your results on this day. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't see where. It, um, I don't know when they're gonna give the results, but. Okay. Did you use your number two pencils? Did you need two of them? Did you have to write anything to do an essay or no? No. Okay. Just a lot of reading was, and stuff. Yeah. Reading underlines or like underlining and circling and then for like the math portions you can write. Okay. And like do it on the paper. Um, so. Your first SAT yeah. in the books. Yeah. Good job, Ryan. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Absolutely. Then what'd you do after? Uh, after they... I mean, you could leave, but you could stay for lunch, and then like you would go to your seventh period, I think. Uh huh. Uh, but so we left. And we went to Pacific Counter. What's um, that? Okay, bowl. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Pokey bowls. Yeah. Nice. Stuff like that. Great. Well, Dad and I are gonna go to the pool. You wanna come to the pool? Maybe. A little relaxation. Yeah. You deserve a little rest, a little hot tub, yeah. right? Yeah. What do you think, Alice? And then I have a coaching meeting. At, uh, I'm leaving at five thirty. Yes. Do you wanna tell everybody what you're doing? Oh yeah, so I'm coaching a, uh, a youth soccer team, teaching 8U, mm -hmm. um, or sorry, U8, uh -huh. my brain. Uh -huh, it's okay. Uh, with uh, Ethan for volunteer hours and just 
Mm -hmm. Have some fun. So, Excellent. You'll be great at it. Yeah, I'm really excited. So today's the first coaches meeting. Let's do it. Did you film it all at school? Probably not. All right. No, yeah. Well, right as you get there, I mean, they're, they're pretty strict about it. They're like, yeah. all our shots in the Yeah. Like, blah, blah, blah. like, we weren't allowed to have the cover to our calculators on our desk. Oh, yeah, like, sure. Sure, you might have notes on it. Yeah. That makes sense. So, um, which I absolutely did. And I was like, why are you making it? Uh, you did not. Of course you did it. Uh, but yeah, everything, I remembered everything well. Um, and when it came across a question, it, it felt rewarding when I came across a question that I knew I got wrong in practice. Oh, yeah. I, like, I know how to do this now. Oh, my gosh. And I do it. And I'm like, it makes such a difference. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I'm so proud of you, Ryan. Like, 90% of the SAT is, I'm pretty sure this answer is right. I'm going to put it down so I don't lose time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. it's so good when you, like, do it and you're like, this is exactly right. Like, yeah. Excellent. Excellent. Well, I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Under your belt. So maybe, uh, who knows, maybe you don't need to do any more. I hope not. Yeah, we'll see, right? Mm -hmm. And you know what, though? You've been practicing math, so maybe, like, if you get your math to where you want it, then you can practice some English. I don't know how you do that, but I guess you just practice it, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, excellent. All right, you guys, comment down below what you think about the SATs, if you took the SATs, if you take, like, a standardized test, if you're nervous, if you are fine, how that goes, if you're a good test taker. You're a pretty good test taker, I don't mind telling you. I think you're a pretty good test taker. How do you know? You've never seen anything. I haven't, but like, I know the amount of prep that goes in, and then when you come out of a test, like, I, and you yeah. get, don't get nervous, you don't get flustered. Like, yeah. yeah, you're pretty good at test taking, so I think that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you got it going on. Yeah. All right, you guys, let us know what you think, and congratulations to Ryan. See you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.